Alright, so I 100% clickbaited you. You got got. If you want to watch the thing that, that has to do with the title, you know, the whole Lex thing, you can skip to the time code that's probably on the screen right now. If it's not there, then I must have really messed up. But this video is going to be another yearly recap of all the events that had occurred on this channel. Pretty much at the beginning of this year, I had set some goals for what I could do or what I wanted to do for this year of 2019. And we're going to be going over those goals and seeing whether I had actually completed them or not. And if I actually failed some of them or didn't, we'll be going over that kind of stuff. We'll be going over all of that. So if you guys are interested in seeing uh, just some, a little more updates about my channel and all that and what I, what I had planned for the whole year, then watch this video. Because it's going to be a long one probably. So sit back and relax and grab some uh, popcorn. Because we're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to be doing this. So a lot of things have happened in the, the great year of 2019 many different things. A lot of them I genuinely can't remember. That's uh, pfft, oh well. But I, at the beginning of this year, on January 1st, I had tweeted out my goals for 2019. And I'm going to read them to you now. And we'll talk about if I did any of those. So time for my goals of 2019. Achieve either 10,000 subscribers or 100,000. Be really fit by the end of the year. Get 100 Twitter followers. Improve the quality of my YouTube channel. Find thick, hot, goth GF. Obviously, that last one was uh, the one I wanted the most to happen. No, of course. It, it, it was a joke, but didn't happen. So <laughs> I can confirm right now that the final one did not occur. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go start from the top. Achieve either 10,000 subs or 100,000. Clearly, if you're looking at my channel right now, December, whatever day you're watching this, December 31st, 30th. I'm going to hopefully have 31st. Depending on what day you're watching this. I'm at 2,494, I think, one of those numbers, for my sub count. But you can't see the live sub count anymore, which is dumb. Thanks, YouTube. That's the thing that changed this year. That's so dumb. But I did not hit 10,000. I have not hit 100,000. But this maybe this next year, maybe this next year will do well. It's not like I did anything really wrong this year that, that stopped me from growing. I think I made a lot of really good videos this year. And we'll be going month by month and talking about what I think I did really well and what, what had happened for the channel. But I think I did some good content this year. Definitely had a lot of blobs for videos that we'll talk about later. And I think I did well for my subscriber goal or for my subscriber gain. I think I went up like a whole thousand subscribers maybe because I, I don't remember what I started the year off with. What did I start the year off with? So this entire year based off of my 2019 analytics that I'm looking at on YouTube right now. I had gained a or 884 subscribers throughout this entire year. I accumulated over 111,000 views. That's a lot of freaking views. Good job, me. And my watch time per hour or for hours is 6,000. That's also a lot, I think. It sounds like a lot. So throughout this entire year, went up almost almost 900 subscribers. So let's just round this up to 20. Let's say let's round me up to 2,500. So 2,500 minus 900, that was like, what, uh, 1,600? So I started the year off at 1,600 subscribers. I thought it was way less than that, but I guess that's what it was. And I went up almost 900 subscribers this entire year. Pretty good, you know, one of my better, better, better days than I've ever had. But, you know, it's pretty good. It went, it went pretty well, I would say. And uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised how we did. Honestly, you know, good job, good job me. You know, round of applause to me for being the best person alive. Good job me. But obviously this next year, I'll be talking about later, I'm going to be trying even harder to have my videos do even better. I'm going to, I'm going to do a lot of stuff and it's going to be good and you're going to like it and you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be down with it. My next goal I had was be really fit by the end of the year. That's more of like a personal thing and something you guys wouldn't really be keeping track of or seeing the progress of seeing as I do not do face content or body revealing content or anything. You, you don't see what, you don't know what the frick I look like. Let's keep it that way for a little bit longer. Personal goal, they are reset. Uh... Looking at myself right now, I mean, not really. Still got a bit of a tummy. It's always something I've always had. Uh, I'm not like overweight, really. I'm like probably like a like ten or so pounds overweight, which isn't terrible, cause like I'm like roughly five nine, and I think my my the 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 limit of the weight you're supposed to be is like one sixty, and I'm like one seventy, so that's not terrible. I'm still good. It's not like I'm freaking rocking abs like Chris Hemsworth or anything, but I'm looking okay, looking better than I did the year before. So good job, round of applause, you know, uh, not super fat. Awesome. Other goal I had was get 100 Twitter followers. I, for some reason, surpassed that this year. I don't know what the frick happened, but my Twitter was just doing pretty well. I wasn't, like, blowing up, obviously. I don't have, like, millions of followers on Twitter, but I got, like, a lot of uh, followers on Twitter. 
I feel like I've had some banger tweets too that uh just get unrecognized. You know, I, I'm I'm un I'm unrecognized talent on Twitter. <laughs> you know, I feel like I do a lot of good stuff, but. Yeah, Twitter game's gonna be trying. I'm gonna try to improve that even more. I my Twitter changed a lot from the beginning of the year. It mainly started off with just me like, with that being like where I kind of just post a bunch of uh, whatever I'm thinking randomly, or you know obviously oh I'm streaming right now or hey new video like it's that it's always gonna be that, but I I've changed more from being just about oh man I'm really upset about this dumb thing today. It's more so I'm really upset about this one dumb thing today. Random channel stuff and then every now and then just a meme freaking tweet like you ever just and it's just dead silence, you know, it's one of those. And I, I think it's funny, I want to become kind I don't want to become like a meme Twitter, but I, 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 you know, every now and then having some memes, you know, it doesn't hurt. It's just for fun, you know, to boost morale. And the one last goal that I'm really happy with, because this is one I 100% achieved, improve the quality of my YouTube content. If you watch any of my videos or streams prior to... April of 2019, you will see that the quality of my streams were terrible in, vi in videos. They were all made off the PS4, so I streamed everything off of my PS4. I had made videos off of my PS4. Didn't look too freaking cool. It, the, the highest quality you could go up to was 720p. Isn't really high quality, but now I, I use my tax return money. Like I said at the beginning of the year, I use my tax return money. I bought a computer, or bought parts for a computer that a friend of mine made, or uh, put together for me. Thank you again for doing that. You're, you're a real one. Because like, God knows I wouldn't be able to do that. And I have finally was able to use my capture card, my Elgato HD60 that I've had for four freaking years since it started my channel. So finally was able to use it. Thank God it works. And the quality of my videos and streams have just gotten so much better. They look so good. Just, I'm telling you. Take a second to watch my most recent stream, whatever the frick that would be for you, depending on when this is going up, and then watch like my first stream at the beginning of this year. Major difference, major different, major glow up, you could say. It's really cool that I was able to really do this one. This was the one I really wanted to do the most because it was like, if this one does well, if I can co uh, uh, do this goal, all the other ones could, you know, follow suit. Not entirely, ha it didn't entirely happen, but it was still something that I. That I really wanted to get done. It was something that I needed to get done. If I wanted to continue YouTube, if I really wanted my YouTube channel to do well, I couldn't keep going and making videos on my PS4 forever. Obviously, all things must come to an end. Part of the journey is the end. So I couldn't have just continued making videos on the PS4 as much as they, for some reason, were doing well alongside with my streams. I, I don't understand why, but I guess I think it's because of my personality. Um, people are really attached to me found me funny or whatever and enjoyed myself enough to watch it regardless of how garbage it looked just to hear me talk and just say whatever nonsense I would say and if, if you've been here since the beginning of the year and you've really been watching all my stuff since from then to now I really appreciate it for sticking through all the, the, the bad stuff all the garbage freaking nonsense so I'm really happy that I was able to get that done of all things, it was probably the most important one that had to get done. Because if I didn't get it done, like I said, it would not have caused any of the other things that potentially happen. So I, I think that that was the best thing that could, that could happen for this year. Because if I didn't do that, a lot of other things would have happened. So thanks. Thanks me for uh, getting the computer parts. And thank you, friend, for making computer. Very cool. Very cash money of you for doing that. Yes. Alright, so now, now that we've gone over the goals... We're going to go month by month and talk about each thing that has happened in each month, whether it was important or not. Mostly important stuff we're going to be talking about mainly. So January. We start off January 2019. Uh, nothing crazy happens that I know of. Also, you're going to hear me clicking and scrolling through uh, my YouTube uh, page just to see what videos I've made. Uh, so in January, nothing really crazy happens. Nothing too... Absurd happened. Some like uh, my top five high round spots that I made for uh, Dead and Night. Currently, right now is at fourteen hundred views. So that's pretty good. Good, good, good job of uh, me for making that video and it blowing up. Uh, nothing too crazy happened in the month of January. You know, just made videos. You know, they, some of them did well, some of them didn't do crazy. Around this time is when I started coming up with the idea to create Das Vidanya, which would ultimately change my life for the rest of twenty nineteen. 
So good job me for having the, the, the concept to be like, hey, let's do this. But towards like the, the third end of January, like January 20th around there, uh, I was streaming uh, on, on my channel like I normally do. Uh, every now and then just a, a chill stream on my PS4 though, so it looked freaking god awful garbage. And uh, one of my viewers, you're probably watching right now if you made it this far, Mason, Young Mao, he uh, for god knows what reason contacted uh, Glitching Queen via email. And he told her that, hey, I have a friend of mine, which is me, I was a friend of him, that uh, has a birthday coming up, which is true, my birthday was coming up, you know, it was end of January, but my birthday's in early February, so it was coming up, and he tweeted, or he messaged her saying, it'd, be, he'd, it'd mean a lot to him if you could stop by a stream one day, and blah, 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 and so she ended up, I guess, asking for a link of the channel, and she ended up subscribing to my channel, which I'm pretty sure she's still subscribed to this day. So that was pretty freaking cool. And then when I was streaming sometime in, at the end of January, she popped up in the, screen, in, the, in the stream. And I talked about this on stream pretty recently. But the thing that I think a lot of big YouTubers really hate is when, let's say you... I mean, they probably appreciate it, but it's it's like, let's say you're like in a, in a video or whatever. Let's say a big YouTuber, YouTuber comments on a video. And all these like fans of that YouTubers in the comments saying... Oh my god, I love your stuff. I'm a big fan, you know, instead of, you know, just having the comments be, like, somewhat related or somewhat anything to do with the actual video. So, I try, ever since I've had, like, interactions with, you know, relatively big people, I try not to have a nerdgasm over it. You know, I'm like, oh, hey, you're a person just like me. Because, <laughs> you know, everyone's a, everyone's a freaking human being on this planet. We shouldn't put anyone on a pedestal, but believe me. Earlier this year, I definitely was nutting in my pants a lot that this was happening. I definitely was probably having the biggest nerdgasm probably ever. But after this moment, I think I learned to really not do that. But it was really nice that she stopped by. She even tweeted out the stream, which was really nice. It didn't, like, make me blow up or anything. I, got, I think I got, like, 20 subs maybe from it. Very nice. Very awesome. Uh, I don't think any of those subs even watch anymore, but <laughs> I appreciate it regardless. Uh, it was just cool. It was just a cool moment, though. It, it, it felt like it was, like, the true, like, all right, this is this is one small step to maybe more people knowing the great name of Coolio Guy. You know, maybe more people knowing who I am. It was very uh, exciting. So, January rolls over. Towards the end of January, like I was saying, was when I started coming up with the concept for Das Vidanya. After li listening to uh, PewDiePie's Congratulations uh, song to her T-Series for passing him. After hearing that, or not, no, not, oh, frick, not that one. That came, like, way later, didn't it? I don't remember anymore. It was, uh, Bech Lasagna, when, uh, that came out, like, in frickin' November or, or whatever of 2018, but I was, like, two months later, I was, like, you know what? If I'm gonna make one last parody song, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> so it wasn't, there wasn't gonna be any more. Das Vidanya was gonna be the original last one, and, and now it, it just wasn't. <laughs> Because I had made All I Want for Christmas is Vodka back in December of 2017, which I thought was going to freaking blow up because I was like, I got the perfect element. I got All I Want for Christmas is you. It's Christmas time. That means there's going to be more views. Uh, I'm doing a Zombies video of Zombies Chronicles. It's a music video, and it's a dumb freaking impression, and it's a parody. I had everything lined up, and I was like, this video is going to bang, and it really didn't at the time. I think the most it reached was probably like 300, no, like 200 views probably. But, uh... With Dots Vidanya, when that happened, it, it kind of helped everything else. And then t in early 2018, I had made uh, Vodka, the featuring Nikolai Belinsky, which was a parody of Havana, which is my least favorite parody song I think I've made ever because I put the least amount of work into it. Didn't even make a music video for it or anything. All I did was just make the, the, sing the lyrics, which I think were probably the worst take I think I've ever, I've ever done of it. Keep in mind, this was also all made on the PS4, so this was before computer. So I still made all those videos, but that's like my most, like my second most viewed video pretty much ever. Has a lot of views. I'm really upset it did that well, but <laughs> that's well, whatever. I'll take it. But around the end of January is when I started coming up with the concept for Das Vidanya, and I was like, you know what? I think this will be a really good video to make and have it released around February on my birthday, to be more specific. And little did I know that it would have such a cultural impact a few months later. When Das Vidanya released, I think the most views it probably had by the end of probably April was like maybe 300 views. No, it was like 200 something views. And I was kind of bummed because I worked super hard on it. This was like the best I could have done with the PS4. This was the peak, the limit that the PS4 could, could would stain. 
and I think I did the best I could with the what with what I had, and I will still forever to this day think that I did a really good job on that video, even if no matter what, even if it got made fun of later on, which we'll get to. It was still one of my best things I think I made on the PS4, and I, I did a good job. You know, not to toot my own cock or anything, but I did a good job. So going on, that's what Dino releases on my birthday. Nothing else really happens in February that I'm quite aware of. You know, the Reagan Mark II comes out in blackout for some god knows what reason, and it's blue. Uh, and nothing really else crazy happened until March. March is when some things start picking up uh, for my personal life also, and just for the whole YouTube channel. Uh, Ancient Evil had released. The everyone knows that map. Uh, you know the, the the final chaos map that we have so far, unless there's, unless they make more that we know that we don't know of yet. And I was streaming the Easter egg as one does who wants to get the world's first. I was trying to stream it, or I was streaming it, trying to get world's first on the Easter egg. And I didn't get world first, obviously. I mean, I didn't, but I got <laughs> super freaking close. This is what initially blew up my channel uh, this year a lot. I got 300 subscribers in a one stream because I was streaming. Obviously, I was still off the PS4. This was like oh, two weeks before I got my computer. And everyone that was watching me uh, prior, you know, like I said, were watching me probably, I think, mainly because of my personality, uh, regardless of how garbage the stream looked. They just liked me for who I was. And I was very appreciative of that, you know. And... I, I, I kept that personality through when doing the Easter egg hunt, so I was like, yeah, I don't know what the frick I'm doing, but I'm just doing stuff, and I was still being funny, I was being entertaining, and people were loving it, and I think people, when they re when I, when I the realization and the word got out that I had reached the final step of the Easter egg, you know, starting um, after hitting Hit Your Mark, I was the first person to complete that, so after that happening, it was uh, pretty surreal to, to have... I said to, I, I remember specifically saying, no one say a word that I'm on the final step. We're going to figure this out together. No one say a freaking word. 20 minutes later, 600 or so, no, like not 600, I'm exaggerating it. 300 or 400 people are in my chat asking me what the frick I did. I was like, oh my God, here we go. <laughs> and then I just kept saying, hey guys, I know you guys want to know what I freaking did. Believe me, I want to know too. All I did was I just did the hit your mark step. There's nothing really to it. And also... You should subscribe to me, and you should help me out, because what if I got world first? It'd be more humbling than it would be if someone else did. Because uh, you know you know how it is. Everyone, all the big YouTubers know them really want to get world first, too. So even if you like tell them what to do, it's not like you're going to get credit for anything. So I was like, let me just do this. Let's do this all together. And I think people were really down with that, and I was also just being it myself. I was being really dumb and funny. And uh, people, were, I think people were eating that up. So that's why I got so many subscribers in that one freaking stream. Big moment. Really helped the channel out quite a bit in terms of the sub count. Not really in terms of views, but the sub count just went up quite a bit. That stream overall had like 5,000 views. Uh, which, if you don't know how streaming works on YouTube, when you stream, like at, after your stream is over, the views that, the view number that you have in your stream when it's over, when it gets uploaded as a video, means that that's how many unique people saw the stream. So I had like 5,000 unique people watching my freaking stream. That's a lot of people, you know, that's a lot. That's a lot of freaking people. It was pretty cool. And I, I wish uh, I could reach those numbers again, but that was that was definitely surreal to be. Even though I didn't get world first, it was cool to be a part of the race and ahead of the race for a while. You know, like I was, I was definitely a good yard or two away in, in this in this race. So good job, me. It's a shame I couldn't complete it. Even though the final step, the to, to for, yeah, the final step was like lighting the freaking uh, catapult. What was it called? The blista with like the green spear. But I did, like, the process to do that, and it didn't work. Like, I did that hours before it was figured out, and it didn't work for me, and I was so freaking annoyed. But whatever. 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 Let's see. April rolls around. I made, like, no videos in April. <laughs> I made, like, two videos in April. I made one uh, an I Hate, uh, or what's it called? It's, uh, You Know What I Hate. I made a video series called You Know What I Hate. Uh, I stopped doing it, but I liked it a lot. And I made a video talking about Avengers Endgame. I didn't really make that many videos in, in the month of uh, April. And then April 30th is when I uploaded my new computer update video. So that's when I had my computer finally. Everything was going good. May 4th, I made my top 5 training spots in Ancient Evil. Which is, uh, it didn't do good initially. And right now it's almost at 700 views. That's alright. And then around the May time, that's when like that trend of ranking videos started going up for some reason. 
So I had made a bunch of ranking videos, like ranking every zombies map so far, ranking every Perkins Black Ops 4 zombie so far, ranking just random stuff like ranking notebooks or ranking the colors. I just did stuff like that just to jump on the trend to hopefully get views and whatnot. And it really worked out, you know. Some of those videos videos had more than a thousand views. It worked well. It, it was all part of the plan. But nothing really happened too much in the m month of May. June. June is where things start rolling around. June is when things start really picking up the heat. June 18th, I uploaded my video calling out Mr. T Lexify. This is probably the point right now where you skip to in the time code that you saw at the beginning. And listen here. I have no beef with Mr. T Lexify. This video I made was a, a simple joke. Uh sarcasm, you know, whatever, ironic video. That's what this was. I was no hate towards him. But essentially, sometime in June, Lex tweeted out something along the lines of, hey, send me videos or whatever for my stream, or send me stuff I should react to. So what I did is I tweeted him, Das Vidanya. I don't think I even said anything along it. I just tweeted the link, video was there, and that was it. Didn't think anything would come of it. He, he had his stream, whatever night it was. And then a week or so later, I see he uploaded like a, what's it called, a highlight, uh, uh like a comp, oh, he uploaded like a comp compilation of the stream, and in the first minute of his stream, it's Das Vidanya. <laughs> the song that I sent him was the first, was in the first minute. His video is called like Glowing Eggs in Real Life or something like that, uh, so it was, it was all about like that other reaction channel that he was watching, but in the first minute, he just decided to include that for God knows what reason, and I didn't know this was even a thing. Until, like, hours after that video went live, because I kept getting comments on Das Vidanya saying something related to Lex. Like, it was always something like, Lex warned me about this cursed video, or Lex sent me here, or something like that. I was like, what the frick is going on? So, I go on his recent video, and I see my video is there. I was like, oh my freaking god. <laughs> he watched it, and this is what happened. And I was quite disappointed, obviously, to see that he didn't like it, but it was expected, seeing as Lex is a is a clown. You know, Lex, you, if you're watching this, you're a clown. You know that you're a clown. It's obvious. So he's obviously clowning on me. And understandable. It, um, you know, I guess you, it, the, the song is meant to, the, the parody songs were never meant to be like, alright, this is God's greatest gift to this earth. No, it was always meant to be like something funny or catchy or just cringy. You know, it was always supposed to be one of those three. Well, there's, and I feel like I did a good factor of doing all three. <laughs> so, regardless, he, he ended up watching it. He didn't even, know he, even though he didn't, like, link it in the description, he didn't even, like, say the title or anything. He just barely showed the title in the video. So many people were watching that and saw that and, like, I gotta look this up. And they found it. The video, I think, if you, if you watch that video, I think you can see that da Das Vidanya was, like, at 200 and something views. And because of that one video, because of my one tweet that I sent to Lex, Das Vidanya is now in the running to be one of my most viewed videos ever. It's like at 25,000 plus views and it's doing great. And because of that, my channel was skyrocketing because even though Lex was watching the thing, watching the video, he was dogging on it. You know, he was hating on it, obviously, as for jokes. Everyone that came from his stream or his video to watch it was nothing but kind. Everyone was just like, obviously memeing. There was a lot of obviously meme stuff like I was saying, oh, Lex told me about this Kurt video or Lex... Uh, said whatever frick, you know, a lot of obvious meme stuff, but then everyone else would just like, this is actually really good, man, good job, or this was great in that, and then I had to make sure I clarified in my comments saying like, yeah, I made this video on the frickin' PS4, so if it's not like good, that's probably why, <laughs> it's not like, it's not perfect, because I know I got a lot of comments in that video too saying like, oh, the song's not even on beat, whatever, like, I, I tried my best to line up everything in the PS4, there's, only, there's literally so, only so much you can do. If you've ever used Share Factory on the PS4, you know that there's only so much you could really do. And I think I, I did my best with what I had. Believe me, if I can make Das Vidanya now, it'll be, it'll be way better. Just believe me. But, Lex, if you're watching this, I know you ended up watching it again later on stream. On a, on a like, two months later. Uh, even though you ended up roasting my song, and... You know, obviously, you did not like it, or whatever, clearly. And that's fine. That's fine. You can you can have your own taste. If you're watching this, Lex, right now, I want you to know that you have ultimately changed my life uh, pretty much forever, even though you haven't drastically changed. It's not like I got a million subscribers from him just saying, Das Vidanya sucks, or this is trash, or this is cringe. Regardless of all that, because of you, 
I have a lot of the viewers that I have today that are always keeping up to date with me who genuinely were looking forward to every single video that I made or every single parody song that I made after it. And it was all because of you. For, for, for God knows what reason, for one minute, including a clip of my video of you making fun of it. Because of that, you helped me. <laughs> it's a Lex if you're watching this. Thank you. And also, I think you have probably had me muted on Twitter. So please unmute me. I feel like you never see any of my tweets. They get a lot of replies, and you, I feel like you just never react. So just, I think you have me muted. Please unmute me. I know I'm not blocked, because it doesn't say it. So please, please unmute me, alright? But thank you. For real, you've honestly changed my life for a huge, in a huge way. Because if you didn't watch that, none of my other stuff would have blown up. Because, so, keep in mind, I only made Nuketown Road, which is a video I made the following month. I only made that because Das Vidania started blowing up. There was no plan for me to make this. It was never something I wanted to do. But I did it because, like, okay, I gotta capitalize on my own success, you know? I gotta do this, I gotta do this, you know? And because of that, because Das Vidania was doing so well, all my other videos, all my previous two parody songs were doing even better. At this moment, uh, All I Want For Christmas Is Vodka is, like, at 1,200 views. It was the last video to reach 1,000 views, but it finally did, like, around this month. And it's all because of you, Lex. You really did help me out a lot. And I hope I can one day shake your hand and then freaking suplex you. Because Das Vidania is the best song ever. And you are wrong if you do not believe that. But anyways, enough about Lex. Moving on. Other stuff that happened that same month. I found out that Noah J456 blocked me on Twitter. I had no clue that this happened. It must have been something that had happened many months prior. And I just had no idea. But the last thing I ever tweeted at Noah J... He tweeted some some tweet uh, around the time when Apex Legends came out, uh, when he was streaming it, and I just so happened to catch his stream, like, literally seconds before I was about to leave my house, and he starts tweeting something, and so I'm like, let me just hop on Twitter real quickly, and this was also around the time where that gonna cry, gonna piss your pants maybe meme started happening, so I made one of Nikolai, of course, and uploaded that on the channel, and I had, like, the little video gif of it to uh, share it on Twitter, and so the second he tweeted that on his live stream... I saw it on I saw it go live on Twitter. I instantly replied to it, and it got like so many freaking likes. So I don't know if that was the catalyst for me getting blocked, but I I don't know why. It's why the frick would I get blocked for posting a meme? You know what I mean? Like other people do that stuff all the time, and they don't get blocked. So I don't see why that would be the thing. But I feel like that's that has to be it because that was the last thing I ever tweeted towards him in any way. And then maybe one day he's like, oh, let me just block him because he's, you know, whatever his mindset was. But I had learned that I was blocked by Noah J because because of Dots Vidania blowing up it had reached past a thousand views Noah J sellout stream if you don't know how it works the only way you can recommend videos is if the video has above a thousand views so I could never recommend the song myself on his streams like by donating because it didn't have the, the, the right view requirement so I guess one time when he was streaming I had no idea about this until I, until I also started getting comments saying no, Jay said this, whatever, blah, 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 I'm on Das Vidania. I had no clue about it until I got those comments. I watched his video. I skipped like five minutes or so in. And then he's just watching Das Vidania. I was like, oh my freaking God, some freaking dude out there retw or spent money to have my video shared on his stream. And that, that happened. That actually happened. And I realized at that point that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of becoming a meme of the community. Just It's a, a small fragment of the community knows m me as a meme. And it's, it's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> so, when I looked into that, I was making a video, I was going to make a video just like in the same vein as Lex saying, calling out Noah J. But when I was make, like doing, when I was making the video, I was going to check his Twitter. I had realized, I was like, wait, I can't tweet something at Noah J. Like, it, won't, it wouldn't autofill. So I was like, let me just look up his name. And I thought he deleted his Twitter or something like that. But then I look, and I just find out I'm blocked. So, don't know what I did to get blocked. Maybe my, maybe my video was just so bad he had to block me. I don't freaking know. But to this day, I'm blocked. I have no idea why. Noah J, if you're watching this, for God knows for a reason, unblock me. What the frick? What did I do? What did I do? What is the point of blocking me? I, it's not like I ever called you like any... I never made a death threat to you. I never once called you the N-word or anything like that. So just unblock me, you know? This is the internet. Face this like a man, all right? If I ever meet you in real life, Noah J, I'm going to ask you personally to unblock me on Twitter. And I'm going to sit there and watch you do it on your phone... So I can be unblocked. Please. 2020, I will be unblocked by Noah J. Mark my words. So, we keep going on. 
nothing really much crazy happened. I've been making a lot more videos on my computer. A lot of them are more like, not gaming related, but a lot of them are more like, haha, funny type of thing, you know, or whatever. And I, I like doing this type of content, so it's been stuff I've been doing more recently, obviously. And then July 24th, or actually, what, what was the actual date, was it? It was July 25th. Nuketown Road premieres my channel. It's currently right now at 6,700 views. That's a lot of views. And it started doing well immediately because of Das Vidanya. So freaking good. It has so many likes. It has 272 likes and 17 dislikes. That's insane. That's some, it's, it's doing good. But yeah, nothing else really happens in the month of J July. You know, Nuketown Road has, happens. In August, nothing really happens. That's too significant. We're wrapping up the Ether storyline, you know. Alpha Mega came out, didn't get world first. We're wrapping up though, we're getting towards the end, and then early September, for god knows what reason, Mr. TLXY does a stream ranking COD Zombie parody songs. And you know what that means, right? That means that Das Vidanya was gonna be a part of that. I had no idea this was happening until like again I got a comment saying something related to it, and I looked into it, and I was like, oh my freaking god. He, he, he ranked my song. Uh, if you look at his freaking video, which I'm pretty sure is still up, he's ranking Das Vidanya, and then he watches the whole thing on stream, and the thing that irks me, right, Lex, if you're watching this part, the thing that irks me, right, you say in the beginning of the stream, you guys, you guys, the, the audience is going to be voting for the placement of all this stuff, so if you say it's this tier, it's going to be this tier, and whatever, and so on, okay? So he gets to my song, and he's, before he starts, he's like, I already know what this is going to go into. So you guys are just going to watch it. So he played the whole thing of Das Vidanya all the way through, from start to, to finish, okay? I, and the entire time, everyone's just saying, this is S tier, or God tier, or whatever. Everyone's just, everyone's loving it. <laughs> Everyone in the chat is literally loving it. Because like I said, I've become like some sort of like a mini meme in like a small subsection of YouTube, uh, COD Zombies YouTube, or, or YouTube. And... At the end of the video, my card shows up that shows Nuketown Road, and the, he, he's just like, wait, he made another one? So he had no idea Nuketown Road even happened. So he's like, well, guys, guys, if if this song is better than this one, I'll bump it up to like a D or whatever instead of being a trash tier, even though, like I said, he said he'd put it in trash tier, even though he said he'd let the audience decide. Stupid regardless. So he watches like the first minute of Nuketown Road, and obviously the first minute of Nuketown Road the first 30 seconds of it is like not music. It's just like a cool little opening I thought was cool with a little cool TV sequence where Nikolai punches the TV and then the music video starts in the TV and it pans into the TV. It's just a cool intro, I thought. But he wasn't having it. Mm -mm, he just didn't freaking care. He's like, come on, cool. You only got so much time. Um, also, I don't think he's ever really addressed me by name. Uh, so good for him. He doesn't even know like I'm cool, okay? He just, he just knows me a Nikolai dude. But he watches it. And obviously, just like Das Vidalia is like, he's not having it, doesn't watch the full thing. Even though everyone in the chat is just screaming God tier. Everyone's just saying, put this in God tier. He's like, nope, puts in trash, and then that was it. But because of that, it also helped boost the channel views or and subscriber count too. Because people are like, Lex is wrong, this is God tier, whatever. So thanks again, Lex. You really helped me out by being you. <laughs> by being yourself, you helped me. And I appreciate that. So thanks for that. I really think you should give my stuff a chance, you know? And realize that there's a lot of goodness inside it. Because he was uh, he was digging Das Vidalia. He was like, oh, he's talking about the Easter egg. Ooh, like, he was enjoying it, and he still put it in trash here. I don't understand. Like, because, like, the thing about the Perry songs, which I thought was so cool, what I started doing with Das Vidalia, and I did with the, the two ones after it, was I made it more narrative. So instead of it being like, oh, I'm drunk, haha, -ha, vodka, you know, whatever. It was just like, funny joke, haha. -ha. Storyline Easter egg, haha! You know, it's just something. It was related to the map story, and I made jokes and references along the way, and it worked. And that's why I think people liked it so much because it was something that was clearly made by someone who plays the game. You know, like El Hugany. You know him. He also makes like COD zombie parody songs, or just COD and just game parody songs in general, and movies and stuff. He would do this stuff in the past, and that's where I kind of got the inspiration from, where he would make like kind of narrative-based songs or parody songs. So I was like, I want to do that same thing, but I actually want i actually want to do this because I know what the frick I'm talking about. No offense, El Hugany, but I've been playing zombies way longer than you, and I know how to actually play the game, and so when I make these references, I know what the frick is going on. So, no offense to him, but I think my references I made in my songs were better than he has ever done ever. But, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just joking. But for zombies related, I should say it. They're pretty good. I think my references are better than what he's done for zombies. Still like his stuff, you know, he's, he's doing great. I don't watch him much anymore, but, you know, GG to him. 
You inspired me to have the way I do with my things I did now. But Lex, for some reason, if you're watching this again, if you're watching this right now, thank you again for this, for doing something you probably didn't even realize you did. It definitely helped me out a lot, and if I somehow blow up next year, next uh, next decade, you know, on my channel, I want to thank you, you know? I really want to publicly thank you, and hopefully you actually freaking will reply to me! But yeah, thank you, Lex. I, I do appreciate it a lot. So we're in midpoint of September, Tiger Toen's about to release. And if you probably noticed throughout the entire year, my view, my not my views, my video output was getting less and less. I had really been losing motivation, despite my channel still doing well. A lot of personal stuff was happening that uh, really bummed me out and was not making me feel determined in any way to do literally anything. And it was just hard, to, it was just tough for me to do stuff. But Todger Toten comes out. I stream that. Obviously, I don't get world first. Whatever. I upload a, a, a complete off the stream where I complete the Easter egg with no subtitles in the, the end cutscene. You know, like complete gameplay. No me talking. Just complete sound of the game. And for some reason, that video did really well. Probably because of the way I titled it and the way, you know, it was. It was just a good gameplay. High quality ending cutscene. As that's almost 1,600 views right now. It, it just did well. And then... My final project I had to make after that, the big thing I did in October was my last parody song so far, and that's for some reason I changed my mind. I released my last parody song, Revelations, which was the ending of Zombies and my parody songs in, in a two degree, and it was a parody of Congratulations. I realized that I had to end this year the way I started it, by doing a parody of a PewDiePie song. So I did Congratulations. I thought it fit perfectly because, you know, Revelations is technically the ending of a thing. And it was an ending of a Zombies map too. So I was like, this is the end of Zombies now. So let's call this song Revelations. Let's make this Zombie song the most reference and most Easter egg based song I did. And I think this is probably the best one I've done pretty much out of all of them. It's my favorite one, I think. It just, it's, it's the best made, I think. The best editing. It looks the best. And it's obviously the reception is probably the best out of all of them. It had, currently right now, it had 101 likes, and it only has two, two dislikes. That's insane for a video. It's at 1440 views right now, as of what I'm looking at it right now, on December 30th. I don't know when you're going to be seeing this, but that's what I'm seeing right now, and it's doing great. Uh, not blowing up as much as Nuketown Road and Das Vidalia are, but it's it's one of those, like, hi hidden gems. You know, it's doing good, but it's it's not, like, as appreciated as, like, the other two main honchos. But I think Revelations is definitely one of my best ones I made. Maybe in like three months, Lex is going to somehow stumble across this one too. And then it's going to do well. Honestly, at this point, the future is unknown. I don't know what to expect at all. But that was like the last big video I think that I released. And then obviously I started making videos in November. And towards the end of October talking about the end of zombies. You know, like ranking all the zombies maps now that we have all of them. Why Black Ops 4 was like a problem. Ranking all the Black Ops 4 zombies maps. And then I made probably one of my favorite, like, non-parody song videos I made. The zombie YouTubers I could beat in a fight. The fight, the zombie YouTuber fight tier list video. That was my favorite video I think I've done in a long time. Because it wasn't, like, a song or anything. It was just me cracking jokes and talking about some of my favorite YouTubers. And whether I could beat them in a fight or not. <laughs> it's a simple concept because PewDiePie made a fight tier list. Talking about what mobs in Minecraft they could beat. So I was like, let me do one about zombie YouTubers I could beat. I thought it was one of my most funny videos I think I've made in quite a while. And it did really well because I tweeted at Turbo and a bunch of other zombie YouTubers. And I, uh, no offense, I played the, I played everything right. I knew Turbo would see it and respond. <laughs> and then it ended up, uh, I guess, chain reacting to the Smith Plays commenting on my video. And Tim Hansen and Chopper and then Turbo himself was commenting on it. And so they saw it and that was really cool. It's not like this video got thousands of views though. It's only at 325 right now as I'm looking at it. But I was, it's still one of my favorite videos. Just because it really, it didn't put me out there, but I got... I got noticed, you know what I mean? Like, these YouTubers were looking at a completely blank white wall, and they just saw the tiniest speck of black on that wall. That was me. I was the tiny black. That that's, that came out really wrong. <laughs> I can see that, though, because I'm dark-skinned, so technically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that worked perfectly. But it was just cool to be kind of somewhat recognized for something I did that was comical, and I... I think I think it was a good way to show off me as a whole. If I had to choose, a, if I had to choose a, vi a video to describe my channel, I'd probably choose that one, because <laughs> that's probably my best one. I think I did that in terms of like my personality and making jokes and just talking about just people I watch on YouTube. That was good. I loved it a lot.
Then I obviously make a few more videos and make that K-pop video where I pretend to be a K-pop stan. And now we're up to here. Still not that many videos since then. But we're here now. On December 30th at 1.40 a.m. as I'm recording this part right here. And we, we made it through this entire year. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. The day after is New Year's Day. We're going to be leaving this decade behind. And it's kind of surreal to think about that, to be 100% honest with you. You know, the last time the decade ended was in 2009, you know, to 2010, obviously. That was a new decade. But when that happened, I was just I was just nine years old when that happened. I had no real concept of time. I mean, I obviously knew what, you know, what the frick a clock was. I knew it was like 10 or whatever. I knew time. I just had no concept of how important time was back then. So obviously when the new year passed and the new decade came, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, okay, cool. Where it's another day, another day in the life. But now, I'm from right now, from all the way from when I was a youngster back when I was nine years old, starting off the year in January of 2010, to now, of December 30th, 2019, I grew up, you know, 10 years later. Did I think any of this was going to be happening? Hmm, I had no idea. I had not planned any of this at all. I didn't know if I wanted to do YouTube. That wasn't something I wanted. I didn't even. I didn't even know YouTube was a thing until like three years later. None of this was planned, but it happened. And who would have thought? Who would have thought that so much would happen in just this ten years? I mean, like I said, I grew up. You know, I graduated high school. Before that, I made my channel that I've been working on for almost five years now at this point. And it's just crazy to think that now. This is the last real big decade for me because I started, like I said, I started this decade off as a kid and now I'm an adult. And now this next decade, I'm going to start it as an adult and I'm going to end it as an adult. So this is like the last big, like really important decade pretty much that I have to do with my life. Because the one before that was obviously when I was a freaking baby to when I was a kid. And now it's from when I'm a kid to an adult. And now I'm just going to be an adult forever. <laughs> you know? It's just kind of crazy that not all of my life was put on YouTube. I know a lot of other people have been making videos since like 2005 or 2010. And they are, their decade on YouTube is way more different than mine. But it's crazy to think that half a decade has been pretty much spent on YouTube for me. And I've been able to see part of myself grow up, you know, through old videos and just watching old me and seeing how I used to be and how I used to talk. I still sound exactly the same in my first video to now. The only difference is... I put on a little bit of a voice in some of my videos like this for God knows what reason because I thought it'd be kind of cool. But no, I sound like this. I've always sounded like this. It just took a while for me to get out of my shell to really sound as comfortable and as confident as I do now. And it's just crazy to think that I've changed so much. And I'm really going into this next year with all the things I didn't have in the year before. Now I have, I have a computer, you know, so I can make even better videos. I have... The audience that desperately, or not desperately, that really wants to see me make videos and be funny and just be who I am. And it's, ex it's exciting to know that, for once, I know that this will be good. Because in the past years, I never knew if I was going to really make it. But now that I have the things that I have now, I think I could def definitely do it. This next year, I think I could probably do this, and I'm, I'm happy to say that. So with all that said... With all that uh, sappiness out of the way, if that even was considered sappy in any way. Let's talk about my goals for 2020. I'm not going to do a goals for the next decade because I think that's a little bit much. Uh, what, what's going to pretty much happen in the next decade if we're going to really look at it logistically? I'm probably going to have a kid sometime this decade I don't know, and get married and have a girlfriend. You know, not in that order, but you know. I'm probably going to freaking have a house. Either my channel's going to make it or not. And, um, I don't know. A lot's gonna happen. Hopefully only good things happen, but... Of course, as we all know, not all things can be good. Part of the journey is the end. And I'm expecting things to happen that re result in ending. And it, it's, it's, it's the way things are. But, with all that out of the way, let's really talk about uh, the main crux of this video. The, the, really, the main, the final thing to talk about is the goals for 2020. What are my goals for my channel in this following year? So my goals for 2020, I have this saved as a draft right now. I've been thinking about this for the, like, the past few weeks. This is what I want to happen. First goal is to reach 10,000 subs or more. I think I think I could definitely do 10,000. I think it's more realistic now, now that I have what I have. 
and I, I, with the abilities that I can do, with the, with the secret powers that I have, I think I can do this. I, I'm confident. I think I can do this. 10,000 subscribers this year. Seems like it, it, it could be easy. 100,000? Mm -hmm. But we'll see. My second goal is to get my driver's license. I still, as an adult, almost 20, I do not have my driver's license. This will change. This was something I just wanted to do as a personal goal. I've been really putting it off just mainly because uh, I used to not really like driving. And I kind of still don't to a degree. But I realized that I have to kind of get this done or else what can I do in life. I need, to, I need this to really progress in life and to do more. Because I can't have people. I can't rely on people forever. I have to really take care of myself. And this is like one of the big major first steps to do that. So get my license. I know it's been a while. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of younger people than me right now that I know have the license already. I understand that. Not, my, my life kind of was way, played out way differently than a lot of theirs, so it's, it's not entirely fair. You know, I didn't really have the opportunity to really get my license right away. A whole lot of nonsense happened that you wouldn't understand. You know, I just wasn't as fortunate as everyone else. It just happens. Whatever. Big deal. Whatever. I'm here now. This is what I'm going to do. There's adults older than me that don't have their license. So, that's saying something, okay? So, I'm going to get my license, alright? <laughs> sooner than, I, than you think, too. I'm not going to wait till the, the end of the year. I'm going to do this soon as possible my third goal is to get invited to the cod reveal uh if, if they do a black ops 5 reveal like they do with black ops 4 and black ops 3 i would like to be invited to that i think i make enough content related to zombies that there would be no reason why i wouldn't be invited i just need to get the subscriber count and the view count to really get up there so i would get noticed so trey or activision can be like hey you you come to the game you come you come go see game okay and i'll be like all right so i want that I just want to really be noticed at this point. I want I want to be really seen by the community and have them know that I do play their game. You know, I play Black Ops 4. I play Black Ops 3. I play Treyarch games, you know. Um, and I give criticism. And I talk about the game. And I talk about where this game could be better. I've done that for this entire year with Black Ops 4. And I'll probably continue doing that until, until the next year. I'll be talking about Zombie Chronicles 2 next year and all that stuff. I'm going to be talking about so much about it. So hopefully I can get noticed out there. And hopefully they can see my voice and or hear my voice and what I have to say and what good ideas I provide to the table that other YouTubers that are definitely bigger than me don't ever mention and I think I do a good job at that so hopefully Activision or Treyarch or whoever will see my stuff and be like you know what? you know what you're talking about come with us talk to or talk to our talk to our people you know our, our people hit your people up okay and it'll be cool so I think that'd be cool is it gonna happen mm, probably not most likely not but this is the goal hopefully the, to make myself on the map that's what I want to do. Fourth goal is try to have a consistent content schedule. I think sometime early next year, I will make a video talking about what I want for my content schedule to be. Like maybe uploading videos on Monday and Friday or every other Monday, every other Friday or whatever. And streaming in between those days and having the weekends off or whatever. I'll have some sort of schedule going that I'll share and we'll keep you posted. So be ready for that. It will come out eventually and I'll, you'll, you'll be knowing. I definitely won't be streaming a lot more this year because... Streaming is fun. I do like doing it a lot. And now that I'm going to be playing more games on PC, like I'm going to have Black Ops 3 zombies on PC so I can play custom zombies and it can be more fun. Play more custom maps and just get more people engaged with that kind of stuff. It'll be cool. So I think it's going to be a good year for streaming games. And if, if there's any games that, you know, pique my interest, I'll be streaming on the channel. I might go stream on Twitch again. I had like a phase where I was going to be streaming on Twitch and I just stopped doing it. So I'm going to be back on YouTube for a bit. If something happens, I'll go on Twitch. I don't know. It just, we'll see what happens. But... I want to have a consistent schedule. My sixth goal is to eat healthier and work out consistently. It kind of plays in with the whole like getting a license thing. Once I get my license, I could probably get like a gym membership, and then consistently work out. And then the whole like dieting and eating thing is kind of like the hardest part. I think working out, working out, is super freaking easy. Let me tell you that. Regardless, other than being sore, working out is pretty easy. You just kind of do a thing. If you're doing it right, you know you're doing it right because it hurts more to do it. Let's say, or if it's hard to do. No, I shouldn't say hurts. If it's hard to do. Then you're probably doing it right, so I I can do the working out part. Just everyone, it's just always the eating part that I think everyone has problem with, and I know to a degree. So I'm gonna try my best next year to keep like a healthy and consistent workout schedule. You know, maybe through the week I work out, and then on the weekends, you know, I eat whatever the frick I want. But during the week, I just eat, you know, regular whatever the frick food out that isn't bad. And then maybe like on my off days from the gym, I'll be going for a run or something. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that, but I'm, having a consistent workout schedule will be really good. And maybe I'll get like a buddy of mine to go with me to work out and stuff like that. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. 
Uh, seventh goal, I think this is where we're at. Have a video break 100,000 views. I think that's pretty realistic at this point. If Das Vidalia, for some reason, just keeps going up, it'll be that video probably or something else. So that's that's what I want. I want that. I want I want a video of mine to reach 100,000 views. I think that'd be pretty cool. 100,000 views is a lot of eyes. So I want that. I want views. My eighth goal is to change people's lives. In some way, shape, or form, I want to somehow have my channel blow up enough to where I can help people out, you know, give people money if they need. I want to, I want to be that kind of person, maybe like do like my own charity event. I want to do that kind of stuff next year if I can. It just all matters with, you know, my sub count and all that, and my viewer rate and all that stuff, because if I don't have a lot of viewers and if I don't have a lot of subs, who's going to really want to donate to, you know, whatever cause or whatever, you know what I mean? So I want to be doing more stuff like that next year. I want to help people. I really want to help people. It's something that I realized I wanted to do more recently. I just want to help people in the way that I know how, and that's just being me. So I'm going to keep doing my best with the channel, and if everything plays out, I'll be able to do that. So that's cool. And then we're kind of related to it. The last goal is shake Mr. Beast's hand. Mr. Beast is someone who helps people out so much. He's really become an inspiration to me in this past year just because of how much he's how much he's done for the community and, and pretty much the world, you know, the whole Team Trees thing. The way he, he makes videos and all that, the way his channel has been growing, it just inspired me to think, like, I can do that. Because he was just like me. He was a kid just like me who made videos, and he just got really... He worked hard, and he got lucky, and he's where he's at today. And I think I can do the same thing. And I think this next year, it's, it's going to be it for me. I really think I can do this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try so hard. But the whole, but that goal, I really, I really want to just thank Mr. Beast for, for everything. I really want to shake his hand and be like, hey man, you did a lot of good and I want to thank you because you've inspired me to do similar things. I want to be like Mr. Beast. If I make enough money in the future, I want to just give it away, you know, help people or do, do funny videos like that, you know, give money to people that I know. I want to do stuff like that. I want to, I really want to be like that. But all that requires time and patience. I got to do what I'm doing now first and I'm going to do whatever it takes. That's what that's what it'll be, but that's my goals for 2020. We'll be seeing how that goes. Uh, hopefully, it goes well. I don't know if I said 20. I, I feel like I said 2019 before when I said my goals of 2020. I think I might have said 2019, like way way before. I don't know. This video is almost an hour, so at this point, I'm pretty much just talking out the top of my head, which is what I've been doing the entire time. But now I'm really just like losing it, man. But if you made it this far, for God knows what reason, put like a little uh, put a heart in the in the 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 comment section that'd be nice that'll let me know that you made it this far just just a you know greater than three or whatever that way is just put that in the comments i don't know you made it this far but i just want to give everyone who's watched me this year a, a big final thank you for everything it really has been a huge year for me equally on par with 2017 with zombies chronicles because 2018 was the worst year for, i think for my channel nothing really crazy happened just a slow year of nonsense but 2019, this year, was a good year. I really got my face out there, you know. My, my unseen face. I really got my unseen face out there. And people are really digging my stuff, and I really do appreciate that. And I want to keep providing content for these people. I thought for a bit the, that maybe I wanted to stop making zombie videos or just stop making gaming videos in general. But I think what I want to do is definitely continue with zombies to a degree. See where that takes me for part of this year, and if there is no zombies for this next game for Call of Duty, maybe I'll do something else. I'm going to keep experimenting with new videos as well, seeing what, what will work. Like, if, if I want to do, like, a new type of concept, I'll do that. I won't just strictly do zombies. I'll mainly be talking about zombies, not really playing it, other than when I'm on stream. So, we'll be seeing what's happening with that. I can't leave the zombie community behind. I feel like that's something that helped me get to where I am today. And I can't ditch them. Even though I started off mainly as a variety gaming channel of games that I found interesting. I'm at the point now where I don't even play games much anymore. The only games I play are the games I have played, which is Zombies. You know, it's something I'm pretty good at. It's something I can casually play while talking. So I gotta just keep doing what I'm doing. And hopefully you guys understand that. That I, well, I'm doing what I'm doing. So if you want to see me play other games, we'll see what happens. Uh, the only game I'm really interested in playing that's coming out is Marvel's Avengers. Like the game. I'll, I'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's good. But I don't know. That's pretty much it for the video. I, I've been really rambling for too long. I really need to apply chapstick to my lips. I'm probably going to eat my chapstick too while I'm at it. Because that's cool. Don't don't eat your chapstick. Don't do that. It's not edible. I mean, it is. But don't don't eat it. But that's it. Everyone take care. Thank you all for a great 2019. 
it really truly means the world to me that this could have even happened to me. And I want to thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Especially you, Lex. You really have changed my life. And you know, you probably have no idea about it. So thank you all again for everything. It truly means the world to me. And here's hopefully to a good 2020. Hopefully everything that I've tried to strive for will be strived and achieved. Is strive the word? Did I use that right? Probably not. Hopefully my goals will be achieved by next year, all of them. If not, a good chunk of them, at least half of them. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I can do this. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for everyone that I can prove wrong and who's said otherwise. I'm going to do this. We're going to do this together. We're, we're all, we're all going to, this channel is going to grow together. We got this. So thank you again. I said thank you like 10 times already. Have a good one. Enjoy your New Year's Day or Eve whenever you're watching this. Take care. And I'll see you next decade. Ha! Ha! I got him. I'm, I'm a clever man. I, I make really funny, clever, and creative jokes. I'm also incredibly handsome and humble. All right, goodbye. Take care. Love you guys. Oh, I love you 3,000.